Fossil deposit is located in the municipality of Banyalbufar in the northern ranges of Mallorca. We carried out two excavation campaigns on that site and we found many fossils, including vertebrae, ribs, parts of a skull, uh, teeth and uh, an almost complete hind limb. And when we started, we really didn't think we would find so much material. Once studied all uh, recovered material from the site, we arrived to the conclusion that it's a Gorgonopsian. This is something very strange, as Gorgonopsian is the line that later evolved to mammals, but we have to think that mammals appear for the first time about 50 million years after. And in this case, a Gorgon option from Mallorca is exceptional for two reasons. The first reason is about the position, the place in, in Mallorca, so it means in Western Europe. We have to think that today all recovered specimens are coming from a very high latitudes, for example, from Russia or, for example, from South Africa. So the recovery there in Mallorca is completely unexpected. Second reason is about the age. The specimen is about 270 to 180 million years old. That is probably the oldest specimen uh, recovered to date, in comparison with other specimens recovered in other parts of the world that will be about a few years uh, younger in comparison with the specimen recovered in Mallorca. The animal was about one meter long, and we have to imagine it as a small to medium sized dog, but without ears. Uh, we have the complete hind limb and we have been able to infer its locomotion. Instead of uh, walking in a sprawled position like most of reptiles, um, this specimen walked more upright, more like mammals, for example, which is uh, an advantage for locomotion, especially for walking, running, etc. Uh, we also know it was a carnivore. We found uh, the teeth that are uh, typically carnivorous. And especially Gorgonopsians uh, are saber-toothed, so they were probably top predators in most of the ecosystems they inhabited. And especially on Mallorca, because it's the only large, relatively large carnivore we have found in there. Apart from that, from other Gorgonopsians uh, found in other parts of the world, we know they were warm-blooded, like modern mammals, and, the, and that they laid eggs like uh, reptiles and some mammals, but that's not the common condition in mammals today. Finding a Gorgonopsian in Mallorca is exceptional, but it's also exceptional the site where the animal was recovered. In this end, we have to, to think that during the Permian, the island of Mallorca was part of the supercontinent Pangea, and the site gives us information about to reconstruct the environment and the climatic conditions where this animal lived. We have to think that at that time, the climatic conditions were very arid, with a very, a, a two clearly marked seasons where these animals lived. And in particular, the site gives us information about how it looked like, and it looked like that had different water holes where the animals were going there to drink and in this sense we recovered the specimens that were diet around these water holes. Of course one of them is Gorgonopsians but not the only one. For example it has been recovered different specimens of the group called Capturinids. Capturinids are a small group of reptiles that were omnivorous in diet but probably were predated by, by the Gorgonopsians. 270 million years ago, the planet Earth was very different from today. Uh, all the continents were merged in one single supercontinent called Pangaea that extended from the north to the south pole of the planet. Mallorca was part of that supercontinent and was located in an equatorial latitude. So for example, uh, present day equatorial latitudes would be in the Congo and the climate reflected uh, that uh, position in the globe. So uh, the global climate was affected by a mega monsoon, meaning the alternation of seasons, uh, arid seasons and wet seasons. And those seasons are in fact reflected in the fossil deposits of Mallorca in which we have found these specimens.